This is Renee with DIY Mental Boost, and you know this channel is all about the brain choosing to thrive, not allowing circumstances to dictate what your mood is. My name is Renee Thomas with DIY Mental Boost, and we don't just talk about what the problem is. We offer the solution to help you make those changes. So here we go. What is the subject today? The subject today is lack of motivation. What is lack of motivation? Lack of motivation is when you just don't feel like doing anything. You just don't have the drive to get up and make changes, to do something differently. You're just not motivated. You just don't feel like it. What is that coming from? Well, here at DIY Mental Boost, what we do is we look at the source of what the problem is and we go in and we make immediate changes. So as you're listening to me and talking to me, and doing the follow along video right after this discussion, you will feel differently. And that is the key with DIY Mental Boost is not just about yik yak, but it's about actually feeling differently so that you actually start doing things differently. So when you're having a lack of motivation, you're sitting there saying, hey, I need to do this, this would be better for me, but you just can't get it going, that's okay. Take a deep breath and do a follow along video to help you make those changes because you need to get to the subconscious level of where things are coming from, why you're demotivated or unmotivated. If you try to use your logic mind to make those changes, it's arduous. And then every time you go to try to make a change, your brain is really not into it because why? It's a long and arduous pro process. You're doing lots of things and seeing little changes. Here at DY Mental Boost, we make big changes. And every time you work on yourself and follow one of these videos, you're gonna notice that you're gonna feel different at the end of each one. Now, first you're thinking, okay, what is she about to get into? Oh, I don't really wanna do that. Yeah, I want to do it because when you're done, you will feel differently. If you feel differently, then you will start to do differently. So take a deep breath. Tell me what it is that you're unmotivated about. Think about it. I'm unmotivated. I should be doing what? Why am I not doing it? Whose fault do you say it is? What are the reasons behind why something is not getting done? Now, take a deep breath. And it's okay. Because we need to accept where we're at. So when we acknowledge it, then we are able to accept. That's just the way it is. Now, we don't want to have any emotion of guilt in, in there or any emotion of trying to force ourselves because has that worked so far for you? We're going to try something different. So go ahead. Briefly look again what is going on in your life that is causing you to not be motivated. Now, it's what your brain is saying. So I cannot say to you what it is because I'm not inside your head. This technique is all about knowing what is in your head, not me telling you what might be in your head. So look and say, I am not getting things done and it's because. Now, if it's just like, I'm just unmotivated, I just don't know, that's okay. That is what's behind it. You're just unmotivated and you just don't know no problem. But for others, it might be, well, every time I do something, it comes out wrong. Or every time I try to go and do something, I hear someone telling me that I'm not very good at it. So look and see what is your brain telling you? Okay, so now what are we going to do? Here we go. We did step one. Now we're going into step two. Step two is we're doing a distraction. Now you're thinking, why are we playing these games? <laughs> because this number two is a re-engagement of the mind. This three-step process that you're doing right now actually makes serious shifts. So hang in there with me. Don't think that it's just a silly and not important thing. We're going to make shifts. You're going to feel differently about yourself at the end of this video. So do what it is that I ask of you to do. What I'm asking you to do right now is I want you to tell me 15 names that are girl names. Think of them right now. You can write them down. You can say them out loud. 
You can say them in your mind, but whatever it is, think of 15 names right now that are girl names. I'll help you start out. Now, when you're doing this technique, when you're dealing with things, sometimes the brain, when it is emotional, will make it difficult for you to think of what I am trying to ask you to do. That's okay. That means your brain is still kind of thinking on what you were worried about in step one. And we're moved on to step two. The whole point of this point is to try this second step. It's not about whether or not you get the 15 names. Okay, it's not a competition. You're not going to get a gold star. It's just that you try to re-engage your mind. That is the whole goal. And that is an A+. Here we go. 15 names, go. Think hard. Good job. Okay, now take a deep breath. And we're going to do the same thing with boy names. And we're going to do 10 boy names right now. Start off. George, Philip, Henry, go. Was that easy for you to do? If it was easy, then what you're going to do is you're going to help to make it a little more difficult. Maybe you say the name and you say a name that reminds you of someone. So you think of Henry and you think of the Henry that you know, if you can. That is boosting step two. Okay, now, very good. Very good. So take a deep breath. And you know, step three is think of something that always makes you happy, a happy memory. Now, if you're not able to think of a happy memory, do not worry about it. Use your imagination and visualize it. Now, you're going to say, well, it's really hard for me to think of something really good. Well, try. That's all you're needing to do. You have probably been using your visualization to imagine horrible things in your life. Now, you're going to use it for good. We're always going to use visualization for good. Imagine a beautiful mountain scene. Imagine you being at the ocean. Imagine you and your favorite pet. Maybe a song that you love. Now you just did round one of step one, two, and three. So you know what we have to do. It's always go back and look at what's bothering us. What is telling us that we're unmotivated? Why we are motivated? What's the worst thing about being unmotivated? How does it make you feel about yourself? How does it make you feel? What's the worst about it? How could it be even worse? What examples in your life did you have of people who were unmotivated? What emotion comes with that? What is the first time in your life that you felt unmotivated or that someone kind of let you know something about yourself and you just got completely unmotivated? Take a deep breath. Now, if we're dealing with something that seems a little emotional, it's okay. What you want to do is you keep your head up like this. Put your eyes up, roll back and forth. This is an EMD technique for not allowing emotions to overcome you. There you go. Gave you a nice little tip. But you want to look at it. And remember, we're here. We're not in the past. We want to let the past remain in the past. It was a moment of time. But we have, throughout the years, brought the moment into the current all the time. So the brain sees it extremely vivid. And that's okay. Now you're going to help it to let it go. Let it be something that is not significantly impacting what you think, do, and say today. Take a deep breath. Always remember to deep breathe and do that throughout the video. Now we're on to step two. This is a distract. Let's do some easy math. Five plus five is what? Five times two is what? Five times seven equals minus nine. Ah, did you get it? Now, do we remember what it is about we're doing? 
we're doing an engagement of the mind. It does not matter if you actually get it correct. It's just that the fact that you did a thought process trying to figure out that is the goal, that is the achievement. And if you're doing that, you get an A plus. Not if you get the right answers. That has nothing to do with this. Great job. So we're going to have 6 times 4 minus 6. How much is it? 6 times 4 minus 6. I repeat it. Next, we're going to do 7 times 5 minus 4. 7 times 5 minus 4. If you need to, put a chalkboard in your head and look at the board and write 7 times 5 equals minus 4 equals, and it will make it also an engagement of the mind. That's even better. Now we're going to do 48 times 3. We got a little harder here. 48 times 3. See on the board, 4, 8 times 3 and a line under it. What do we got? 3 times 8 equals, 4 times 8 equals, and the carryover. It's all about re-engaging the mind. Stay with me. You're doing good. Okay, so now take a deep breath. Go to your happy place. Again, happy place is something that always makes you happy. It's not connected to anything unhappy. A song, a flower, a scene, something you wish to do. Use your imagination. Something that happened in the past. Enhance it. Go. Now, in the beginning, if this is difficult to do, you know it's okay. We have learning curves here. Anytime you try something new, it always is something that you may have to practice one or two times. Let's do that practice right now. Go ahead and try. It's not about whether or not you can do it. It's whether or not you'll just try. Excellent, 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 excellent. Now take a deep breath. We just did a round. That was our second round. Let's do another round. Take a deep breath. And let's look at all the things we feel about ourselves when we're not doing the things that we feel that we need to. What is the emotion? Did you have a connection of something of the first time that you felt this way? A memory of something? Look at it. Who is it involved with? What are their faces? What is your face? How are you feeling? We're just gathering the information. We're not going to rhyme and reason away. It's called gathering, aiming at what it is of what the source of this unmotivation is. Take a deep breath. You're going to notice each round, it's going to start to feel less intense, less heavy, less bothersome. That is how this technique works. Now we're going to go to step two. What do we do? Step two is distraction. Distraction. We're going to re-engage the mind to think about something else. So here we go. Now we've done words and we did numbers. Now we're going to actually do words again. I'm going to say the word like Caribbean and I'm going to have you spell it for me. Now if it's easy for you to spell words and you're like, oh, I could just rattle that off. Spell it backwards. So beginner, spell it forward. Intermediate, spell it backwards. For those advanced, look at Caribbean and do a picture with it in your mind. What would Caribbean look like to you or be? We are distracting. Now we're going to go to another word. It is ostrich. Beginners, spell it forward. Intermediate, spell it backwards, advance. See a picture of an ostrich in a tutu or in a, a car driving or that commercial we see all the time. Re-engage the mind. I think it might be an emu. You're doing great. Here we go. Another word. Arbitrary. Arbitrary. Can you spell it? Spell trying, not if you really can. Spell it backwards for intermediate. Arbitrary, what in your mind do you see of arbitrary 
and then actually make it kind of good. A good arbitrary. Nice engagement. Good. So now what are we going to do? We are going to go happy. Re-engage the mind. Bring in a new feeling. Feel the new happy. The peace, the calm. Ocean scene. Mountain scene. Raindrops. Fire crackling. Whatever it is you want, put yourself there. It's nighttime. There's a fire. Your feet are up. You can feel the warmth. Let's go. 30 seconds. You got 10 seconds more. Keep it up. It's really important. Now, what if you like to listen to music? Have your little ear pods on. Dance to some music during this time. That's fine. Feel a good emotion. Great. We just did three rounds. Take a deep breath. Let's look at unmotivated. Let's look at the word of unmotivated. What does it mean? Does it have to be something that seems so bad if you're unmotivated? Can it be just okay? Today we're unmotivated. Tomorrow we get to action. Look at unmotivated, the word itself. Is it a big word? Can we make it small? We think about the word the, T-H-E, the. How important is the? When you hear the word, do you get an emotion and a reaction? No, it's just the. So let's look at unmotivated. Okay. Let's not be afraid of unmotivated. Let's not blame it on things that is going to be a factor forever. Because if you're just motivated for a little bit, it's no big deal. Next time you'll be motivated. Maybe you can double up, do some turbo mode and catch up for whatever it is you thought you needed to do. Let's not be afraid of unmotivated saying that it's ruining our lives, that we just can't get things done. The more you feed into unmotivated, the more it'll come alive in your life. So let's not be afraid. If unmotivated is a big old sign in your head, shrink it down. Imagine it just a little word and then poof. Take a deep breath. Now, let's go ahead and go to distraction. Are you ready for a distraction? What should we do? You could do whatever you like. If you don't like the ones I'm doing, do your own distraction. I'm going to, at this time, let you find your own distraction in your own mind or on your phone or play a little game you like. Do your own distraction. I'm going to actually give you a whole 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds more. Hang in there. Each of these steps are really important. You will feel differently. You will already notice that you're feeling differently. Take a deep breath. Okay. Now go ahead and go to your happy. What is your happy thought? Something that just always makes you smile. How pleasant is it? How calming is it? Peaceful, joyful, fun, exhilarating. Amp it up. Make it good. Use your imagination. Make it even more special than what it was. If it's an imagination or if you created an, uh, a memory or, or imagine something, make it even better. Fantastical. Can you fly? Can you transport yourself? Very important. You want your brain to feel like anything is possible. Don't put yourself in a box. Oh, this is not real. Not reality. That's okay. We're using imagination. We're working with the subconscious. Believe me, your conscious mind knows you can't fly. You're not going to go off and do something crazy. Very good. Now, we just did 
four rounds of the one, two, three. Now really look at how you're feeling. You'll notice already that everything feels a little less intense. Now the object is to get this down to a zero one, or a one, meaning that it just doesn't seem that significant. Each round you do, each one, two, three steps, it's going to disengage that motion that you don't want linked to what you're feeling about yourself, okay, about the situation. It's going to unlink it. You're going to be patient with yourself, appreciative of yourself, and you're not going to berate yourself. You tell yourself right now, good job. Did it drop? Now we're going to do one more round. What is still bothering you about being unmotivated? What is still bothering you about something that you haven't done that you really feel is important that you haven't done? Or that you always keep repeatedly doing that is always so late and causing issues because you're unmotivated. You're waiting to the last minute. Do you like doing the last minute? Do you get this little exhilaration of at the last minute getting things done? Has that been instilled? And so for things that are really important that you really shouldn't do that, you're not able to not. Take a deep breath. Just look at it. Are you fulfilling prophecy of what someone is saying about you? How you get nothing done? You'll do nothing. You'll become nothing. Take a deep breath. Okay, here we go. We're going to do a distraction. What is going to be our distraction? We're going to do alphabet again. With the alphabet, we are going to go with the word firecracker. Now, if you were to describe a firecracker to someone, how would you describe it? See it in your head and describe it. It's a long stick with a little piece of wire outside of it that if you light it, it'll go boom. Got it? Now, describe to me a cloud on a rainy day. Or now, think of a highway with just a few cars on it. Make sure you see the cars. What colors are they? What kind of cars are they as they're going by you? Are they going slow? Are they going fast? We're using our imagination, remember? Hang in there and do this. This works every single time. So do the three steps with me. Okay, now take a deep breath. Let it out. Very good job. Where are you at? How is it feeling? If it is still feeling a little bothersome, do another round all on yourself. Write down what you think is still bothering you. Distract yourself. Go happy. Now you can just repeat this video. I, I really recommend people to use the videos in the first in the beginning because if you do not really know the technique and how to do it, you think you're going through the one, two, and three, but you're really not. You're getting stuck in one. A lot of times we just get stuck in one or we're stuck in one and two so fast and we're not bringing in that good energy in the end, the, th the third step that is needed to make really good changes. Okay? You did a great job today. You need to tell yourself that. We're going to do a little bit of inner work real quick which just in your mind, think of yourself at a very young age. You should see yourself, sit down next to yourself, and you should tell yourself, you're fantastic, you're wonderful, and see if yourself accepts that. You're beautiful, you're intelligent. Everything you do, you do it so well. Nothing about life is going to be hard, hard things are going to come, and you're going to make it through it. No, 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 no. We're dealing with the subconscious. The logic mind knows that. 
subconscious only knows really, really good. If you try to feed it that other information, the issues that you're having right now exist. <laughs> the lack of motivation. We're changing that. We're doing something different. So go in your mind. Yo, bro, you're the best. You're awesome. Man, you are the man. You are the queen. Have them really see if they're believing you. Smiling. High five. Give a big hug. It doesn't take long to do inner work like that. I actually recommend people in the beginning when you're dealing with things. Just every night before you go to bed, do that for like a minute, but really feel it. And even if you kind of hug yourself, it helps to enforce it. Pat yourself on the back. Stroke your face. That makes difference because why? The brain doesn't know time. So when you're doing that for yourself right now, you are being your own hero. You are being your own person who's able to go inside and make yourself feel good. That inner self is going to take that in and it's going to start automatically producing it to you. That's why it works. It doesn't have to be extravagant. One minute, that's it. Try it. When you first wake up, you're so great. Your day is going to be wonderful. Everything you do today, hot five me. Yeah, let's get it going. Okay, take a deep breath. Now, right now, you should already be feeling differently. When you think differently and feel differently, you will do differently. This is how this works. It becomes your reality. You're not lying to yourself. You're not trying to kid yourself. You're trying to get your brain out of a loop. Your logic mind knows what is logical. Your subconscious needs to have really good vibes attached to situations in order for it to be an automatic program that will motivate you, keep you doing thinking and saying things that take you in the direction you want. If it's not doing that, it's an automatic program and you're doing a mental update now and it does not take long. You will only have to work on yourself a couple of times, if even that, to go start getting this changed. Okay, so keep watching the videos. Okay, 15 minute videos, 30 minute videos. This is a little longer one. We're about at 30 minutes because it's important that when you do this, you're making the brain do a full shift. Not a little shift with a distraction. Okay, yeah, I'm feeling better. You want a full shift. So what you do after you do shifts, you're going to have to test it. That's what we're going to do now. You are going to test it. Now, how do you test it? Literally, look at the situation and try to make yourself upset about what you're not doing, what isn't not happening, feeling unmotivated. Try to make yourself upset about it. If you're not able to do that, that is excellent. You've done a great shift. If it doesn't go up. Now, if it does go up, that's even better because now you know what it is you say to yourself to make yourself feel even worse. And then what you'll do, literally, right when you get off with me, you're going to take a deep breath. You're going to distract your mind because you've already focused on what it is that you said. And then you're going to go happy and do that maybe two times to knock it down. Repeat, test it. This is the, the work that you're, this is your homework that you're doing on your own. We've done the big work now. There's a little homework just to make sure you're cleaning up, got things done. Now, if you don't have the time now, no worries. Do it later on. It's not a problem. Don't have to do it right now. No stressors. Do this when you can. You've done an excellent job today. I'm very proud of you. I know it takes a lot to sit down and to work on yourself when you're not used to it. When you're not used to putting that kind of effort into yourself because you're just kind of used to things unfolding or maybe putting all kinds of people ahead of you. But when you do this, you will be amazed at how you'll be able to do everything that you want to do, accomplish everything people are asking of you if you take care of yourself first so that you have to give. And you also learn boundaries. <laughs> so you will not be doing any kind of resentments. You did a great job. Thank you for being here with me at DIY Mental Boost. Now, if you want to make more progress, be sure to either go to DIYMentalBoost.com and download one of the interactive printable guide sheets. We're going to do the same thing, more specific in certain areas. We have things for boosting your relationship, your self-worth, um, prepping your brain for success, okay? And if you don't want to be purchasing each of those PDFs, 
join my monthly subscription. It is only $12.99 a month. It gives you all of the interactive PDFs as I put them up and even the older ones that are still there as part of your subscription. Plus, you can do a live Zoom group session with me. You'll be able to have your questions answered. We're all going to be on the same level, getting the same progress at different levels, people will be, but I promise you at the end, everyone will be with the same result of a great shift. And then also you're going to get more of videos that are like this. So $12.99 DIYMailToBoost.com. It's a monthly subscription. Just join and you will do these videos as you can. No stress. Possibly one to two hours a week. That's it. One to two hours a week you sit down and you work with yourself. The great thing is, is as you're doing this, you'll have to work on yourself less and less. You'll drop down to an hour and a half, then just an hour, 45 minutes, and find out pretty soon you're doing pretty good and only once in a while gotta go in and help your brain to shift because it didn't do it automatic. This is the whole purpose of these videos, to get your brain to automatically do these shifts so that you don't have to manually do it like we did now. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I'm glad that you're loving my videos. I'm glad that you're here with me and I will see you on the next one. Choose to thrive.